to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be some empties that I have. Um, and I'm not very good at describing things, so I apologize if I don't describe it real well, but I'm trying. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have is the uh, Mr. Brownie brownies that you can get at Dollar Tree. Uh, this is the Blondies. And um, these are really good. They're soft. Um, I am not real into vanilla flavored uh, brownies, but these are really good. So um, yes, I would definitely repurchase these. Uh, the next thing is um, also from Dollar Tree. It's the same thing. It's the Mr. Brownie, but this is the chocolate one. And these are really, really, really good. These are probably my favorite. I like these better than the Blondies. Um, it says that they're made with real Belgian chocolate, so that's fancy. But these, yes, these are very good, and I would definitely repurchase uh, the only downfall is that since these are from Dollar Tree, uh, they don't always have them. And I haven't been able to find find them again in mine. So, but I've been keeping an eye out. So if I do happen to see them, I'm going to go ahead and repurchase some more. So, then the next thing I have is also from Dollar Tree. It's the Auto Drive Protectant Wipes. There's 27 in a pack. And um, there is still some in here. Now, these are dry. So I would not repurchase these. Um, they weren't very good. Uh, the Armor All ones are better. Um, yeah, there's probably about half a pack still in here. But they're dry. So that was kind of a waste. So no, I would not repurchase these. Uh, the next thing is also from Dollar Tree, but you can get this. I think you can get these at Walmart. Um, it's the Russell Stover Peanut Butter Cream uh, with the white fudge. And these are so good. If you like peanut butter and you like white fudge, you'll love these. They're so good. Uh, they're very rich, though, so... Like, I could only eat one or two pieces at a time, and that's it, because they were so rich. But they are very good. So, yes, I would repurchase these. And the next thing I got is also from Dollar Tree, but you can also get this from Walmart. It's by Airwick. Um, it's the Essential Oils Room Spray. Uh, I got the Sugar Cookie Scent. And this is really good. It, it works really well at... Um, Smells up your whole room, um, and the scent did last a while after you spray it. It still lasts for a while, so it was really good. So, yes, I would repurchase this. The next thing I got is also from Dollar Tree, which a majority of this stuff is uh, from Dollar Tree, because that's where I, I buy a lot of my stuff anyway. Um, but it's the Home Essentials Clark and Denver hand, uh, Liquid Hand Soap. The scent is Apple Fields, and this is the 15 fluid ounces. And this is a big, you know, pretty good size uh, bottle. But this is really good soap. So, yes, I would repurchase this. Um, I have tried another brand uh, from the Dollar Tree, not the Bolero. I do have some Bolero, and I do like it. Uh, but I can't remember the name of the brand of it. But it was really runny. So I wouldn't get it, but this one was good. It was, it was thick soap, so it lathered really well. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. The next thing I got is also from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's the Old Williamsburg Candle. Uh, the scent is watermelon. It's the kind that you get in the little mason jars. And I'm telling you, this is a really good candle. It smells so good. Um, it's scented up. I, I usually burn these little ones in my bathrooms and they smell up the whole room. So they are really good. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't know if you can see, but see how much wax 
is on this side right here. And then on this side, there's not as much. They don't really burn that evenly. That's kind of the only downfall. But, I mean, for a dollar, it's good. It's really good. I mean, what it smells like on the cold sniff is what it smells like when it burns. It's, it's good. It's a really good candle. So, yes, I would recommend getting this, and I will repurchase. Okay, the next thing I got is also from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if anyone has watched my other... Uh, Dollar Tree hauls, but I did a Dollar Tree haul where I hauled these uh, body polishes. I got two of them um, that were in different scents, but uh, this one is the Bolero uh, Nourishing Body Polish. The scent is French Lavender and Citrus, um, and I know when I did that haul, if you've seen it, I mentioned I shook it, and I mentioned how, listen, how liquidy it is, let me tell you, it is liquidy. And how can they get by with saying this is a, a polish? I don't understand. But I used not even half. I don't know if you guys can see how liquidy and how runny that is. And it smells horrible. Ugh. It smells horrible. It is not good. The gritty stuff that's in there that's supposed to be, I guess, the polishing or whatever grit that's in there, it's it's barely there. And it's so liquidy. It's not even, ugh, it's, it's getting everywhere. It's so liquidy. It's just not worth it. Don't buy it. Save yourself a dollar and don't buy it. Um, the sad thing is, is I have that other one. Then what am I going to do with it? It's brand new, not opened it yet. So I don't want to throw it away because that's being wasteful. And I've never taken anything back to Dollar Tree, so I don't know how they do that. I don't know if you have to have your receipt. I know they don't give refunds. I know it's just a straight exchange. But I don't know if you have to have a receipt or not. Um, so mm -mm. Don't, don't get it. I just I wouldn't get it. Um, okay, the next thing I got is um, this Palm Olive Gel Dishwasher Detergent. There are 75 ounces in here. Um, I got this from Walmart. It's the lemon scent. And this is under $3. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's affordable. But I don't like it. I won't repurchase this. Um, in fact, this is, there's still some in here. There's probably, there's probably about that much left. Um, I, no, I wouldn't because it leaves a white, powdery, chalky residue all over my dishes. And at first when I, when I washed with this, I thought, well, what the heck is going on? Is there something wrong with my dishwasher? So I ran a cleaner through my dishwasher and then went to do a load of dishes, and they still came out the same way with the powder, the white chalky powder. So I decided I was going to go buy something else. This is not good. I would not repurchase it. So um, what I did end up buying was the Great Value. Um, I think it's supposed to be comparable to the Cascade, and it's really good. It does work, and my dishes come out shiny and clean every time. So... Um, I would recommend it. So the next thing I have is the, and I got these this at Walmart, is the Nestle Coffee Mate um, Creamer. It's the Italian Sweet Cream is the flavor. And this stuff is so good. My, uh, my husband doesn't like it. He says it's too sweet. But I love it. I think it's so good. And this is the flavor that I usually buy. Um... Sometimes I'll get daring and buy something different, but this is usually what I get, and it's really good. I like it. Um, the next thing I have is also another Coffee Mate uh, coffee creamer. This is new. This is the uh, Snickers flavor, and OMG, this stuff is the bomb. 
if you guys like chocolate in your coffee, I know a lot of people don't, but I like it. I think it's so yummy. This is so good. And I know it says Snickers, but at least to me, it didn't taste like a Snickers candy bar. It just tasted like chocolate. Um, there was kind of like a, a taste of like, I don't know, maybe the nugget that's in the Snickers bar. But it was so good. It was so good. And I have repurchased this since. So I would definitely get this if you like chocolate and you like creamer in your coffee. Get you some of this. It's good. Um, I do like the powder coffee creamer, the coffee mate coffee creamer. I like the powder too. Um, but I'm one of those people who, when I'm drinking coffee, when I get a cup of coffee, I want to drink it right then and there. I don't want to wait for it to cool off. So that's why I like to get the liquid stuff that you have to put in the refrigerator. Um, because it cools your coffee off so you can drink it right away. And so, yeah. And also, do you guys like the International Delight? I have tried International Delight coffee creamer and I didn't like it. Because to me, it seems like it's really watered down. The Coffee Mate, though... That's what I always buy because it seems so, I don't know, like it's more creamy tasting. Um, so I just, I like it. But let me know if International Delight, if you like it or if you like the coffee mate better. Um, let's see. The last two things that I have. Um, I got this from Walmart. This is makeup related. It's the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think this is by L'Oreal. Um, the print on the bottom is so tiny you can't see it, but, uh, it comes in the rose gold tube, and this tube, see where it's all black right here? That's not dirt, and that's not mascara. That is where the paint is coming off of the tube, and you can probably see it on my hands where it's all sparkly. That's the paint that comes off. So that's kind of a downfall as far as the packaging goes. But this is very good mascara. If you like um, like thick, uh, clumpy, kind of like the spider, spider leg like, you know, eyelashes, you'll like this. It's really good for that. Um, the only thing is, is that I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But when you pull it out, it's probably not going to show up on here since this tube is about gone. Because um, I've used this down until there's hardly anything left. There you go. I don't know if you can see that big clump, like that goopiness on the end of this brush there. That's, you know, mascara. When this is fresh, it's it comes out even more than that all over. But it's so gross. I mean, look at the into that. Isn't that disgusting? I mean, the brush is really good. It's a thick brush. Um, so, I mean, it gets the mascara on your lashes. It's just, it's so goopy. So, it's really, really messy. Um, that's the only downfall, really, of this. That's, you know. So, I mean, if you can... If that, you know, doesn't bother, if you can get over that, this is a really good mascara. So, I would repurchase this. It's a good mascara. And, again, it's the Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal. But, yeah, I would repurchase this. Okay, and the last thing I got is uh, from Aldi. And I did buy this back in the wintertime. Um, it was on clearance. But I know that they sell, uh, it's a candle. I know that they sell these candles um, throughout the year. Uh, they're not always in the store all the time. Um, but I know occasionally uh, they will carry them from time to time. So um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this. This one is called Snow Day. It's by Huntington Home is the brand. And there is this three wick candle. It's similar by the looks anyway of a Bath and Body Works candle, but it does not smell like one. Um, it does not have a, a throw at all. 
Like on a cold sniff, you can smell it. It smells like, like this one, I think it's supposed to be marshmallow peppermint or something. And, but when you burn it, mm -mm, you can't smell anything. All it smells like is wax. Just plain old wax. So, mm, I wouldn't, I would not repurchase this at all. So if you happen to see these at your Aldi, the Huntington Home is the brand. If you're getting it for the smell, it, it, it won't smell. So I would, I would pass. But anyway, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I explained everything right. Um, I know I'm not very good at describing things, so <laughs> I'm working on it. But I do appreciate you watching me. Thank you guys so much. Bye.